Hey guys, it's Dharma here. Um, I'm going to do a quick tutorial. Well, it might not be that quick because programs take a while to load. But this is how that you take any morph target you want in Character Creator 3 and actually apply it to the character that it saved as an FBX after you leave to use in Unreal 4 or Unity or whatever one. Uh, it's actually pretty simple. It's kind of pricey, but it all depends. Because if you already have Character Creator 3, and chances are that you're searching on how to do morph targets in Character Creator 3, then you already have the program. And chances are if you have Character Creator 3, you probably also have iClone 7, in which case you also need that. And the plugin for iClone 7, which is Morph Creator, and I can't remember if that's free or not. I don't. It's been so long, I can't remember if I had to pay for that. But basically, this is a tutorial on how to get a character from Character Creator 3 into Unreal 4, which is my personal use. I use Unreal 4. But like I said, you could probably also use it in Unity or whatever else. But this is how you get any morph target you want on a character and be able to export it and use those morph targets in game. Because Character Creator 3 automatically exports with a whole bunch of morph targets. A lot of facial stuff. But you can't choose what you want. So any morph targets that you change on the character you cannot use unless you do this workaround. So I'm going to I'm going to try to make this fast because I just spent last half hour making a video that I've accidentally pressed some buttons and kept turning it off and on. So, cuz I was using hotkeys. So this is my character. If my go-to character this is Vicky. I created her in Dev Studio. She she was a Genesis 3. I transferred her over, updated her, changed her so now she's a CC3. Plus, actually. But this is Vicky. Now I do have her in the Open AUE4 pose. Which you kind of need. Because ordinarily, I think you'll start off over here. If you go to pose. If you go to motion. And scroll down. If you're using Unreal 4. Then you click on the open AUE4, apply that pose. That actually matches her up with the mannequin skeleton. As far as the pose. And character creator 3 will also rename all the bones the same. So all the uh, animations just transfer right over. Which is great. Just one of the things I love about this. And pay no attention to her boots right here where her jeans are poking through. In fact, let's just fix that real quick. Let's go to oh, already a smooth mesh. Oh well, look, that's not working. In fact, it got worse. Calculate collision. There. See, Gene's not poking through anymore. Okay. Now to get back to where we're at. This is how you get any more that you want. Three more targets. I'm gonna do it with something like oh I don't know bigger boobs. Well first thing you need to do for that is go down have your character exactly as you want it. You know you don't want to edit any clothing, hair, pose, anything after this. If your character is exactly as you want it, go down to export under file and then go send character to iClone. Now I actually already did that to save time. So my character is already in iClone. So now you want to go to, I'm going to do bigger boobs. Which everything's being kind of slow. Do not crash. Please do not crash. My computer's been a little janky ever since 
Cyberpunk 2077, which I wound up having to remove. Go through it about destroyed my computer. Alright, let's see. That looks good. So what you do from here. Now, if any... I mean, I have like a lot of custom ones and a lot of other stuff in here. But there's some basic stuff. So you have it like this. Alright. Now you go down to Export iAvatar. Which I've actually already done. You, you just leave that where it's at. Go ahead and click Export. Find your folder that you want to put it in. You name it. I'm going to click Cancel because I already did this several times. And alright, so now you minimize that. You're in iClone. After you make your avatar, you go to iClone. Then you click on the little running animation thing up here. Go down to Morph Creator, which I actually have open already. So this is the character. I mean, I know you have, it kind of sucks you have to transfer like three times. But now you go into Edit Morph, click the plus, select what it is that you're looking for. Let's say it's this one, which is pretty much the same, it's just different. That's one that I made previously because it's already on my in-game character. I'm just using that for reference. <coughs> and then you have to wait for this. Which, you know, it kind of sucks. Like I said, when it comes to character creation or Unreal 4 stuff, 80% of your time is waiting. Sorry, I had to light up a cigarette. Alright. Now, one of the things I like to do... Well, actually, I'm going to start with this top first, because that hides any nudity that might pop out. But you see now, when you come to the base body on most of this stuff, if you notice, it pops through when you put it at 100. I usually go with about 90. That keeps things from popping through. And it's not too noticeably different from the size of the shirt. So I'll take like the actual shirt or depending on what you're using. I'll take the clothing and have that at 100 and take the body part and put it at 90. Unless you're doing something that's not going to be seen like a belly or something like that. In which case I'll just delete the base body part. Because if it's never seen then you don't need to even waste your time with it. Alright so then we'll go ahead and rename this. And, well, I'll go ahead and create, but I'm not going to... See, and then I select Remove Force Target, sl Force Slider Target. So now you just, they're just tied together. Like so. Then you send and replace to iClone. Alright, this iClone is loading the stream. Alright, come on. I'll show you what the character looks like like in-game too. I mean, it's slightly different because I'm not... I'm showing you the character that I have in the game that has the morph targets already. I'm not going through 100% as you go through because it would take like an hour to make all this. Especially with all the waiting time on stuff like processed render and how long it takes to import in a character into Unreal 4. Alright, so now she's sent to Unreal 4. Now what you do is you go back over here where it shows the sliders and then you go edit in character creator. Which hopefully doesn't take as long. Yeah. That's not supposed to happen. Okay. okay. Blah, blah, blah. Would you like to save? No. Replace all. Okay. So this may take a moment. 
and then I'll show you what to do after this and then you know if you're using Unreal 4 you know how to import in FBXs but I will show you pretty much the character and sh showing and proving that it does have the morph target saved to it in the game and it's adjustable and then I'll also do I don't know maybe not tonight maybe tomorrow well no I work tomorrow I'll do one soon because I definitely want to start making more videos again but I will also do one on how to access all those morph targets via blueprints and how to adjust them and depending on what you want to do or accomplish on how to use all that but first I have to wait for converting data you like that charger by the way yeah that's my baby girl that's my daily driver love that car had it for six years now never let me down every day I drive that thing I love it but back on subject now we're back in character creator 3 <clears throat> now granted you can't really see the morphs that you just did because it's showing everything but rest assured they are saved to this character now if you go down and you save the project and you go to open it back up it'll open up plain I mean it'll open up like it is now but it will not have the new morph targets they used to put on there so it's, it's like a one shot one deal kind of thing you have to set them save them back or bring them back in the character editor 3 and then you have to export as FBX which let's see of course you have to go down to Unreal if that's what you're using that's what I use that's why mine popped up because I just did this video and screwed up on it and you go export blah 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 yeah okay it's not like I plan on bringing it back in and then you name it which I'm not actually gonna do because I already have the character done but that's what you do as far as that and then unreal obviously you just make a folder for your character name bring it in I already have like the blueprint animation to everything set up but this is essentially the character with a bit more morph of the one that we just made. See I have like fat and thin, muscle, breath left, right, that's for like running and walking animation to make them bounce around, belly, butt, blah blah blah. But I'll show you what I'm talking about here. See now these are in here. So like the one basically that we just made. I go like this. Actually I wanted one and there we go oh I almost hit the yeah because if I hit this is where I screwed up before because I wanted to press the zero and the one key on the keyboard and that's what stopped to start my stream which ruined a half hour of my life So anyways, yeah, that's all you got to do. In fact, I can probably show you what happens. I click play. Pay no attention to a lot of the stuff. This is all testing for my actual game. You see, I have it tied into this. So essentially, I mean, well, I can view it take it yeah, my computer is so bogged down right now because it's recording while I'm doing all this okay inventory that and use and this is one of the benefits of using morph targets In fact, that's just a breath when I have 
This one, the belly one, is this is a work in progress. All right, come on. It's probably still bogged down. I see her belly got a little bit bigger. There's some stuff, weird stuff going on with that stuff right now, but basically, yeah, that's about what it is. So. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope someone gets some good info out of this that works for them because you know how long it took me to figure that stuff out. So, alright. Y'all have a good one and I will see you in the next video. Bye. What the fuck? Are you telling me that you did not record that at all? 48 bytes? That was fucking 20 goddamn minutes. Oh, now it's 211 megabytes. It's not still recording, is it?